we continue to add components, models, and footprints to make it easier for you to design in Multisim. This includes 550 new models from leading manufacturers and 650 updated components. Let's browse through our logically organized component database. You'll notice here our power group, which includes switch mode power supplies created by Christoph Basso. Let's select the analog group to view operational amplifiers and comparators. Our database includes 550 new models added from Texas Instruments, Linear Tech, and Microchip. This is in addition to models from analog devices and National Semiconductor added in previous versions of our software. Let's move to a brand new group called the Multisim 11 NI Components Group. This group includes over 26 new mating connectors for NI hardware. These connectors make it easy to design custom circuits that will interface to NI hardware, including Compact Rio, M-Series DAC, and Single Board Rio. Traditionally, engineers would have wasted hours having to define these symbols on LAN patterns. The work has already been done for you in Multisim. Let's see this in action by placing a port mating connector to interface to NI Single Board Rio. This is an example of a multi-section device in which four separate schematic symbols correspond to separate pins and ports on a larger IC or connector. We've just placed port 5 of our single board Rio mating connector. We can now view how this translates to our physical prototype design. Every symbol in multi-sim corresponds to a LAN pattern or footprint in UltiBoard. As we move to the UltiBoard environment, we can see the corresponding LAN pattern. Such LAN patterns can sometimes take hours to define to ensure accurate pin mappings and pin spacings. We can also view the LAN pattern in 3D.